Hi viewers, welcome back to Siri Algorithms YouTube channel. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. In previous video, I shown up to how to draw the Let's continue the video. In this, I'm going to show you the pie chart, uh, like uh, how many are scored uh, through the boundaries and uh, without boundaries and some interactive visualizations and uh, correlation analysis. Uh, please follow the video. So let's continue the video. In previous video, I was ended at this part. Uh, so we sorted the data based on the who had the highest success in all the matches uh, and uh, who are the top 10 players so that um, I shown the visualization. Now we are going to draw the pie chart. So before, uh, if you want to draw the pie chart, that means uh, who, which you, uh, the, like uh, the player who scored the highest runs through the boundaries and uh, without boundaries so that if you want to see, first we can extract uh, some part of information from the data frame. So how to do that? So I'm just taking like a one empty dictionary here. Dictionary is equal to empty. So for um, I in BF bat of B, BF bat dot I to tuples here I'm going to take like a I to tuples of so before going to write like a print of uh, i <coughs> first uh, let me show you the data frame b of bat dot head of i just want to see the data so which part i want to extract so here i want like a uh, dict one of uh, i of first one is the player information i want so i'm just taking like a uh, the index number if you see the index number here this is the index number the serial number is zero and um, one is the player the index number is one and two three four five like this it will continue so i want as a key is here it is a player name so I'm just taking like a index position is one. So it is the player name is a, a key value and uh, it is a key and values I'm taking like a, I want only like how many fours uh, he hitted and uh, how many uh, sixes that part I want. And that's why I'm taking like a row number. Uh, if you count it, uh, the column number here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You can see fourteen, fifteen. I want so I'm just taking like a column number fourteen, comma, column number fifteen, comma, the without boundaries. So I'm just taking like a the end column you can take it like a minus one in the reverse index i am taking so which columns i taken from this data frame is simply uh, the key name is the player and uh, values i taken like a uh, index number 14 that means uh, total fours and sixes and uh, without boundaries so that what i taken here so now we are going to write like a print of Dict one. See here. So total from the entire data frame, I've only taken some part of information that is nothing but uh, uh, how many fours. Uh, that means uh, hitting of fours. How many runs he scored and uh, through sixes, how many runs scored. And this is like a without boundaries. So that information I taken as a value format and uh, key act as a player name here. So now I'm going to show you the pie chart. So 
plt dot figure so here i am selecting like a figure size figure size is uh, maybe you can take any size i'm just randomly taken like a six uh, like a width is six and height is six and uh, what type of graph we are writing here pie chart so pie and uh, what options is there to uh, first we can pass the data so the data is nothing but um, you can take like a dict one because this data i'm taking so dict one of so first uh, maybe if i am going to collect the information from the end user end user going to enter the player name so uh, that specific information we can extract it and we can see the statistics clearly that's why i am writing like a player name is equal to import of enter the player name so which player information you want to see that you can so dict one of i'm directly calling the variable here player name comma i'm going to add some labels here so labels uh, the first label is fourths uh, column names just i'm writing like a uh, how many fours how many sixes and last one is uh, without boundaries like without boundaries you can write it like that or uh, i'm just giving like a uh, how many singles like um, two runs and uh, three runs like that so this is the labels next i'm going to take the auto percentage so if you want to see the percentages clearly um we can take like a auto percentage so this is default we will write like a uh, percentage like this next i'm going to take like a plt dot uh, axis axis will be equal i'm going to take like a equal so plt dot uh, title a title i'm going to take like a player name so player name will come as a title so plt dot uh, show off so now which player information you want to see uh, maybe rohit sharma information i want to see so just uh, copy the name of the player and you can enter now you can see this is the rohit sharma statistics uh, let me zoom out little bit uh, so that we can see the clearly here so rohit sharma uh, he scored if you see the statistics of this player so he scored the highest through the highest runs he scored through the hitting of fours and sixes in all the matches and 26% only he scored through the without boundaries that means uh, uh, two runs three runs or single run like that singles so highest uh, the statistics of the rohit sharma he was scored highest through the boundaries only without boundaries it's only 26% uh, this data is only up to 29 matches only it's not completely about the Uh, all 45 matches because only the matches was happened up to 29 only that data only i have right now so if you see that data based he is scoring highest with the boundaries only uh, let's see another player statistics maybe if you want to see any other person here mm, maybe um you can see the Uh, something Mohammad Rizwan, something the player name I taken here. This is the Rizwan statistics. So here 
he scored the highest through the without boundaries only if you see this one 52.55 percent he scored through the without boundaries only but it the value was very close that means uh, uh, with the boundaries, uh, hitting of the four, you can see uh, he hit uh, the highest force, that means 38%. Uh, he scored through the hitting of fours and only 9% to the sixes. And uh, if you see this part, uh, highest is the without boundaries only. Maybe uh, let's take one more player. Uh, maybe... Any one player you can take it here. Mm. Warner, maybe let's take this example. Any player statistics, if you want, you can just enter the player name. So, Warner, if you see this one. Uh, here, the statistics, uh, he scored highest uh, through the uh, boundaries only. Uh, if you see the space here, the 36%, uh, he scored the runs through the hitting of fours and 27% with the sixes. That means the boundary, boundaries through only he scored highest and without boundaries, it's only 35%. So any of the player if you want to see the statistics so which player is scoring highest uh, runs uh, either with the boundaries or without boundaries a simple a small program we return using of python code and um, you can see the complete statistics of the all the players now continue with interactive visualizations visuals so i'm going to show you uh, before going to show you the interactive visuals, uh, first I'm going to drop some of the columns uh, which I added in the beginning uh, in, at my previous videos. So I'm going to drop that. The, so drop is a method. So you can drop it uh, which columns you don't want. So here I don't want the columns of uh, uh, fourths runs. Sixes runs, comma boundaries. So this part I want to delete it. So you can see here which I'm removing these three columns: four runs, sixes, and boundaries. These three I'm removing. So you can write like a. Here I'm going to confirmation like uh, in place is equal to true. That means uh, I'm going to do the confirmation and access. So I want to drop the entire column. That's why access is equal to one means column wise uh, deletion. So that I'm doing. And if you want to see the data, whether those columns uh, removed or not, you can see there is no information this is the data set right now we are having so let me um, take some data to create bf15 is equal to bf bat i'm going to take uh, uh, some columns only that is from uh, uh, zero to like uh, 0 to 15 so d of 15 i will show you in a moment so i'm taking the complete data set here but i was stored this data frame into one more variable that is uh, df underscore 15 so why i do why i done that um, because i want to use this data set for the interactive visualization so my original data set whenever i want to access it with the df bat so now how to draw the interactive visualization so first i need to import the library uh, import uh, plotly dot uh, express as 
px next i'm going to write like a something like a d of fig is equal to ex dot sunburst of so px dot uh, sunburst of here i'm going to pass the data what is my data frame here d of 15 so that i'm writing d of uh, 15 comma now let me see the options here path i'm going to take the path that means a specific columns i'm going to take path is equal to first one i want like a player name so i'm just taking the player column so i'm just uh, for visualization like interactive visualization uh, purpose i'm going to take uh, a specific columns only first one is the player name next i'm Stated. going to so fig dot show off i'm just trying to draw the yeah here you can see this is the uh, interactive visualization that means uh, you can see the layers clearly here maybe if you place on this you can see this is the uh, player information uh, here you can see virat Kohli information maybe if you want to see the complete on this so here it is like a total how many matches uh, he played six matches and uh, total score is 354 and um, one of the match uh, he scored like a highest score is uh, 103 and um, average is uh, 88.5 and if you take like a highest strike rate uh, like uh, if you see the order here if you have any confusion strike rate is uh, 88.5 and uh, total how many fours uh, he hitted in uh, all the matches in this tournament uh, uh, in this uh, total 29 and uh, how many sixes means uh, six so this is the way you can see the a particular player information maybe if you want to see one more uh, maybe you can see again maybe let's see another player ravindra information here just uh, you can see click just uh, here you can click it and you can see the player name is uh, ravindra Shem, uh, ravindra and um, here you can see the total matches how many he played and the total uh, score is uh, 406 that means the total runs is 406 and in one of the match he scored highest is 123 and uh, if we take the average it is uh, 81.2 if in the, all the matches and the strike rate is 107 and uh, total how many fourths he hit means 33 and uh, total six is uh, 13. So this is the way, this is the uh, interactive visualization. Just uh, again, if you want to back, just click here. And uh, if you want to compare with the layer wise, maybe I want to, yeah, yeah. here you can see the first layer. Uh, so in the first layer, uh, this is like a success information that means uh, we, uh, who hit at the highest success uh, here you can see this is the highest is uh, 19 but uh, here we have like a 20 that is Rohit Sharma Rohit Sharma hit at the highest success that is 20 and uh, who hit at the highest force if you can see the second uh, circle here uh, second uh, one uh, 44 uh, this is quinton so like this you can see who scored the this is the match information that means uh, how many matches each player played and uh, this is like a total score of the match the second layer third layer is about the highest score and the fourth layer is average and the fifth layer is the strike rate 
and uh, force how many hit at the highest force and sixes so this is the interactive visualization any of the player if you want just click it here and you can see the information clearly and if you want to go back just click it here again so this is the way you can so python have like a very good libraries uh, to do the visualization part so thank you in next video i will continue with the correlation analysis like a pearson correlation analysis that i'm going to explain in the next video this is continuation so which is the highest um, uh, impact factor for the target that i'm going to show you in the next video uh, thank you see you in next video don't forget to subscribe the channel